Hello, my name is Nicholas Ortiz. I am executive producer at Deviant Children Productions, and I'm here to talk about a very exciting short film project by a fellow filmmaker, uh, Veronica Feo. It's her follow-up to her first short film called Beefcake. Uh, the new project's called PMS. I know, guys. Believe me, I know. But it's going to be an amazing short film. The main character is uh, hosts a uh, late-night cable access horror-themed TV show, and she has a stalker, and the stalker kidnaps her, and you know wants to kind of keep her for himself. But he doesn't realize that because she's in, she's you know in that PMS stage, she's going to use her crazy, uh, angry woman strength to kick the shit out of him. It's going to be exciting. I'm actually in PMS. I play Eve McQueen, who is the drag queen co-host of Slaughter Sundays, the name of the cable access TV show. I'm really excited about this project. I'm very confident that Veronica is. Uh, is gonna pull you know pull another one out of the hat and just make everybody just go crazy uh, for it. She's not afraid to go dark when she wants to. She really wants to go dark. She can go really really dark. But for the most part, the movie take captures you in its kind of slightly insane way of looking at things. And I think that's very exciting. And I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing her do like a you know a sequel a follow up to that and uh, really push herself as a filmmaker. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting here next to a Christmas tree. In a one drunken evening, we decided we were going to set PMS during Christmas. So that means Christmas trees, Christmas lights, Santa hats, and uh, as because I will be playing Eve McQueen, I will be dressed up like a giant drag queen elf. Good times. Deviant Children Productions started back in 2009, and our goal was that we were all young artists, but we just didn't have a means of getting anything done. I mean, you know, we were either working or in school, or we were always just talking about doing projects, but we never really had, to just, never just really just kind of hunkered down and done it. So I had just decided to uh, one day just really just to go for it. I just decided to plunge myself into it. And, uh, you know, now that I have uh, this collection of uh, not just, you know, artists and talented writers and editors and, uh, you know, sometimes actors, but, you know, uh, just friends. We all just hang out all the time. and. You know, we're always constantly coming up with projects, and we and now we can actually do that. We we know we we finally decided that we're tired of uh, just talking. We're 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 about action now. We're about doing it and getting it done. And we're back. <laughs> uh, I don't know who this guy is. No, uh, no. Actually, uh, I'd like to everybody introduce everybody to Orlando Cruz. He is a our stunt coordinator and safety expert at Deviant Children Productions. He's done various stunts for my projects. And he's be heading up the st uh, all the action that takes place in PMS. How's it going, bro? Pretty good. Pretty good. You excited? Very. Very excited. You want to talk about what you're gonna do in PMS? I mean, the the, 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 the direction that Veronica wants you to, to go in. It's gonna be very very brutal for both. It's gonna be basically we're, we're gonna start off with guy beating up girl. Then we're gonna end up with girl beating the living crap out of a guy. Now um, this is not a snuff film, by the way. Just to let you know. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and the girl, is, by the way, is Nicole. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> Just throw that out there. <laughs> it's kind of pretty easy to train. Yeah. I There's... like, you know, it's funny. You should mention that it, even though it's your wife, you're like the hardest. You're you're the hardest on her above everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> because the scene that we're going to go for, I want it brutal. I want it realistic, and I want it to be, you know, like whoa. What the heck just happened? I want people to be the feeling, to feel like this really did happen. Moves it's a happen. real raw fight. Yeah, like, a real thing that that can happen. In a real situation, it's, it's very real. Okay. <laughs> Orlando Cruz, everybody. <laughs> There's nothing I can say about uh, the next guest that hasn't been already said about many women like Mother Teresa or Madonna. Nicole Cruz. Uh, Nicole, how you doing? Good. You excited? This is like your. Is this like a first lead thing that you've done? Like. Yes, in seventh grade. <laughs> in seventh grade. <laughs> what was seventh grade? I, I played another bitchy character. Oh, so you're, this is like your first lead roles in seventh mm -hmm. grade. What are you? What are you? What are you doing? Like, what are you preparing yourself for, really, overall? I go over the script again and again in my head. Yeah. If I do it out loud, I'm gonna end up saying it like a robot. So I have to kind of get it in my head so that when it finally comes out of my mouth, it sounds spontaneous. I'm looking forward to our scenes. We have scenes together. Yes. And but I'm, I get to torture you. You get to torture me. <laughs> That's actually the line, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's you do get to the torture. The line me. is, "I love to torture you." You do get to yes. torture me, yes, you do. But I'll be dressed up as a as, as a man pretending to be a woman. And I will be dressed up as a slutty horror flick <laughs> whore. What I know, there's a lot of physicality happening 
in this. Yes. And I've read it in the... <laughs> this is funny. I, I probably should mention this. In the script, the, because we don't really have an idea of what the fight should look like or whatever like that, it's, it's Veronica's <laughs> first fight. And she, it's literally the to be TBD. determined. This. <laughs> I mean, it kind of helps that I, you know, live with the person who is directing that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, choreographing that scene. So I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm up against. He's and really pushing you, like, in terms of getting it right. I know that. Yeah, I'm, I have to train every day, and, <laughs> <laughs> which is good. I enjoy it. That's good. Yeah. That's good. At least you get the kick out of it. What do you, wait, so what do you think is going to be harder? Is it going to be the dialogue stuff or is it going to be the action stuff? The action. The action stuff. Mm -hmm. I just imagine it. Like, there's a part where I, I have to get hit across the face with a paint can, and I could just, like, no, that wasn't good. Cut, do it again. What the fuck do you mean, do it again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that scene again. You know, so... It's I pretty mean, much what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what's going to be. It's like, you know, I get slammed to the ground, and then it's like, I'm, I'm like all in pain, and then it's going to be like... I'm cringing just listening. Cut, no, no, do it again. It's like... <sighs> Do it again. All right, I'll do it again. Do it again, do it again. You know, so I think it's it's gonna be kind of brutal. Well, you so. got Kit, who's uh, he's a pretty you know he's a he's a big guy, but he's he's actually he's pretty capable physically. Uh, you know, so you'll be in good hands for the most part. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with him. He's he, fantastic. He's great. Yeah. he's a lot of fun to work with. He's another one who likes to go off the cuff a lot. Are you worried about the off the cuff? Because I know when we're seeing together, I'm gonna be throwing a lot of off the cuff kind of comments at you. <laughs> I'll, it'll be it'll be fine I'll, I'll figure it out hopefully hopefully i'll figure it out <laughs> all right well uh i'm excited when do we start we start soon yeah wow. i hear we might be starting in the next two weeks or something oh lord i'm not ready i gotta get my eyebrows done and my legs waxed that's way too much information uh <laughs> nicole cruz everybody um if you don't already know who this is this is veronica feo <laughs> the writer director of beefcake writer director of pms uh, great friend, uh, the sane one in the <laughs> Children Productions. And by sane, I mean just less crazy than everybody yeah, else. Yeah, I'm not really sane. <laughs> <laughs> PMS. Yes. What's up? How's it going? Good. So we're in the final stages, and mm -hmm. like Nicole mentioned, we're going to start shooting in mid January, which is very soon. That's really soon, yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited about this team, and whereas. Beefcake was kind of an experiment to prove to myself that I could write something and execute it. PMS is going to be a more elaborate, a little bit more or a lot more well-produced um, project. So it's going to be fun. Too. Where did PMS come from? PMS came from me wanting to violently dismember my boyfriend <laughs> one one week, which <laughs> this this like feeling of this wave of rage lasted for about four days and i realized oh i know okay this is what's happening to me so really i don't want to murder him and end his life and you know like so i thought hmm if i could take the energy that i'm feeling right now and make it turn it into some kind of like fictional story and maybe make it happen that the person that is feeling these things gets herself out of a bad situation because of it it could be a positive <laughs> way of looking at pms <laughs> As apart from everyone thinking that it's like such a horrible negative thing. I am officially scared of you. So PMS might save your life one day, you never know. Yeah, sure. If you're a woman. If you're a woman, okay. If you're a man, good luck. <laughs> now, I, got, I gotta say this, when I read, I, you know, I was there for Beefcake, and then when I read PMS, I really saw like an upgrade in your in your screenwriting style. <laughs> I actually have to kind of throw it, I'm gonna embarrass you right now. Okay. Okay, she turning red? <laughs> Should I be mad? No, 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 no. It, it was definitely, it was a huge improvement. Like, you, I just saw, like, it was just, you took everything that you took from Beefcake, even from the filmmaking process, yeah. from me shooting it, yeah. and you really applied it to this one, and, you know, it was just leaps and bounds. It was so much, it was, my, it was, you got, you got the story across, and not only got it lost across in less pages, yeah. not because you omitted a whole scene, but you got it across in less pages because it was just so much more tighter and condensed and stuff like that. I, I, I did, I learned a lot of lessons yeah, making yeah, yeah. the first one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It helps that we work with a lot of awesome people that... It does. We got some do nice, we nice tell talent, <laughs> a talented group of actors who will do pretty much anything yeah. we ask. <laughs> now, uh, what do you... In terms of shooting, uh, what do you really try? What are you really going to go for in terms of like a shooting style or like a certain kind of look, a specific look? What are you really? What are you trying to achieve? Like you said before, it's mostly lighthearted. Yeah. 
So it's it's a comedy. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of comedic moments, mm -hmm. and then there's just gonna be a little break where there's a very dark moment where okay. you, you really pulled in and you want you care about whether or not the main character survives. Okay. Now you have your first kind of real fight. Kind of this is like your first kind of dip into like action. What you you were you're kind of nervous. I I, I am because I have no idea how to direct it, how to set it up. Yeah. How what the time frame is going to be. You don't realize how completely technical it really is yeah. until you actually have to get down into it. Like it's just like, so when you watch an action movie now, will you now have like a newfound respect well, for it? Like, uh, absolutely. I never really took it seriously. And yeah. now I'm like, God, there's so many things to think about. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I need all the help. I, I think you'd be fine. I think you'd be fine. You're more than capable hands with uh, Orlando on set helping you out. And uh, I'll be there as more yeah. support. It'll <laughs> so, be fine. <laughs> What are you hoping that's gonna happen at the end? What do you, what do you, what do you think people? What do you, people watch PMS? What do you think yeah. they, they walk away with? What do you what do you want them when they walk out the theater? What do you want them to say? Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Ah, like, oh, she really got him in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's Veronica the Bale, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've met the director, the stunt coordinator, and the lead of PMS, it's time for you to be a part of the production itself. If you look to the right side of your screen, you'll see a list of incentives for all donations accepted to the production itself. Uh, all funds that we receive will go to it completely. You know, it helps you know, pay for lighting, and costumes, props, uh, beer, all these wonderful things that are needed absolutely on a production just like this. There are different methods of payment. You're allowed to pay through your, using your credit card and through PayPal. Scrap metal is also accepted as well. That's fine. You know, you know, who needs more copper? I do. That's great. The main goal of all of this is always is obviously to help us out. We at DVD Children Productions, we love making movies. We 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 love making them. We love when people watch our movies. We love the reactions that they have to it, and we want to continue that. But we, we, you know, we obviously can't continue doing it on our own. We're going to need as much help as we can get. And so any help that we can get, whether it be from you, whether it be from your friends, whether it be from your grandma, your grandpa, your dog who secretly has a bank account, <laughs> is greatly accepted. So please be kind and, you know, help some, some uh, inspiring artists out. Thank you very much. <laughs>